Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Roadshow. Today, we're going to be speaking with Mr. Kurt Huber. He is the CEO of Global Hemp Group. Global Hemp is executing a multi-phase strategy for the development of sustainable and green value-added industrial hemp products, utilizing the processing of the entire hemp plant that will be utilized in the development of its planned green community in Hayden, Colorado. Their stock trades in the CSC under GHG, the OTCQB under GB, HPF, and also on the Frankfurt under GHG. Good morning, Kurt, and welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. So to start off, um, can you tell us about your background and just give us a brief overview of how the company got started? I've been in the public company world for oh, probably the last 25 plus years. I've worked with, uh, uh, as a senior officer or director of uh, numerous public companies in all different industries. I've been in the mining industry, the oil and gas. I've uh, worked with some tech companies. And uh, back in 2014, I was introduced to hemp, this, uh, this new product that was uh, starting to uh, uh, become known. And uh, through a mutual introduction, I was introduced to Global Hemp and the founder of, of the company. And uh, originally came on as uh, a CFO, and uh, last year I became president of the company. Okay, great. So next, uh, Kurt, tell us about the, the rollout of your industrial hemp technology, and uh, what products are you focused on developing, and what will be your go-to market initially? Well, you know, we've always been... Uh, management's focus has always been the industrial aspects or applications of hemp. Uh, the world got sidetracked uh, with the introduction of CBD, and uh, at the time, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, CBD prices were high because it was a new product. It was uh, so it distracted everybody from the real focus of what hemp is going to evolve into, which is the industrial aspect. So when I say that, I mean the use of the fiber and the inner woody core of the stock called the herd. And those can be made into all sorts of different uh, products. They say that somewhere between 25 and 50,000 different products can be made out of that at this point. So we're talking things like biocomposites, bioplastics, building materials. Uh, there's just, um, it's amazing, uh, textiles, food, uh, and obviously, you know, the medicinal side with CBD. So uh, our focus is is on initially the, the use of the herd for building materials. And uh, we particularly like the hemp lock technology, but uh, uh, there's a lot of different applications where you can use what they call hempcrete, which is a, basically a mixture of the inner woody core, a lime binder and water, very simple, but very natural. And uh, this is a building material that has been used, ex well, I won't say extensively, but a, a fair bit and in Europe in particular. They have a tremendous head start on um, uh, North America at this point. You have the, you know, you look in Europe, there's some companies that are building 500 plus hemp homes a year. So it's, and there's numerous ones that are producing that kind of uh, volume. So it's an industry that is growing uh, very quickly in, um, in Europe. And what we want to do is bring this same technology into North America in um, and develop a whole green community. Okay, great. Kurt, uh, next let's talk about the Colorado Hemp Agro Industrial Zone project. What is it and uh, why is it important for Global Hemp Group? The Hemp Agro Industrial Zone, or the haze as we call it, is really the, is just the processing arm of what we want to do. So this will be an industrial complex where we bring together various technologies that can utilize the entirety of the hemp plant and produce value-added products. Uh, the Hayes is our um, manufacturing center that will supply the building materials that we'll use in our green community. Okay, great. So next, let's get into that then a little bit more. Tell us about the, this development uh, of your planned green community in Hayden, Colorado. Uh, and what is the approximate time frame for development and how will it serve as a, as a template for other green communities you plan to develop in the future? Well, one of the things that's happened is in North America right now, you have a, sm a small number of uh, people who have utilized hemp building materials uh, like hempcrete 
to build houses. And it's it's one here, one there, spread out all over the country, and and um, really no cohesive package of of development in a whole community. So what we are doing is something very unusual uh, or very different than what has taken place up till now. We're going to build the entirety of the community with as much of the hemp-based building materials as we can. Uh, the beauty of this particular project is that uh, the real estate side of the, uh, the development side stands alone. Um, it doesn't, um, it'll be successful without the um, addition of the hemp building materials. But we wanted to go take it a step further than that. We wanted to build something that is sustainable, uh, eco-friendly, we'll incorporate eco-friendly technologies into the, uh, into the project as well. So this is going to be um, an entire community that um, will be a showcase for hemp construction in North America. Fantastic. Okay, so next, uh, let's talk about the market. You know, how big is the market that you're going after for industrial hemp products, and why do you see such huge potential for future growth? Well, this particular project has a unique opportunity. There, um, it's in Hayden, Colorado, which is uh, just uh, about a 25-minute drive west of. Steamboat Springs, the uh, ski resort. Uh, the ski resort is a place that um, has very expensive real estate, um, has had a lot of growth in the last uh, while, and continues to uh, need uh, the service industry to, um, to run basically everything that's there. The biggest problem for that is that the affordability of workforce housing is is off the chart. There is there is a huge problem and a huge pent up demand for this. Uh, so we're entering a market that has, um, by some estimates, 2,500 units uh, required in all forms of uh, development to uh, that has been short uh, of um, or not available over the last you know several decades. And this problem isn't getting any better. So we have this huge pent up demand for affordable housing. That's what our focus is in in Hayden, and um, uh, you know that's where the opportunity is. There's also now that we've uh, locked up three very key uh, pieces of property, um, which totals about 875 acres. The acreage that we have acquired uh, is uh, strategically located so that it's attached to the city now and anybody else that would want to come in and develop would have to be outside the area that we are um, uh, we have accumulated and outside the area of the town of hayden okay great okay makes sense okay um so kurt that's all the questions we had for today uh you know we just wanted to give our investor audience a basic uh, you know understanding and feel for the company you know what else should investors know right now that maybe we didn't cover about global hemp group yes one of the things that's very important to us is research and development uh, part of the problem with the hemp industry has been that because of the 80-year moratorium on hemp very little r d was done on the development of other additional products as well as processes to make them more efficient and more cost effective so in that regard we opened an r d division it happens to be in mexico in Querétaro, just north of uh, of uh, mexico city and headed by uh, professor victor castaño uh, multi-discipline phd very bright uh, gentleman is very interested in the alternative building materials space, has done um, a lot of business in that regard. And what we've been able to do is, through his associations, um, bring some very uh, bright uh, young people who are working on their PhDs into our R&D division to be able to work on uh, some of these um, uh, products. Uh, with the goal ultimately of of creating patented um, intellectual property, but more importantly is uh, technology that can be used on our Colorado project and then ultimately marketed as a uh, as a revenue stream for the company. Uh, we have now um, two notable uh, collaboration agreements. 
uh, one with the uh, National University, the, the National Autonomous University of Mexico, which is Mexico's largest university, we just announced that, as well as a, uh, a group that is currently um, legally able to grow uh, hemp as well as cannabis, and they will actually be growing some hemp for us uh, so that the R&D team has fresh material to, uh, to utilize. So uh, we're working on a number of other collaborations. Uh, we want to um, really expand our R&D footprint and uh, be able to generate our own products that we'll be able to utilize in our Colorado um, planned unit uh, development. Excellent. Okay, great. Well, um, Kurt, that's that's it for today. I mean, I really appreciate your time coming on the show. We're starting coverage here on CEO Roadshow. Uh, for those listening, we're going to start doing some webinars weekly with Kurt so we can talk more about the company and answer some questions. Um, so we look forward to catching up with you again uh, soon, Kurt, and getting the, the latest updates and find out what's going on with Global Hemp Group. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Again, we have just talked to Mr. Kurt Huber. He is CEO of Global Hemp Group. They're uh, executing a multi-phase strategy for the development of sustainable and green value-added industrial hemp products utilizing the processing of the entire hemp plant that will be utilized in the development of its planned green community in Hayden, Colorado. Stock again trades in the CSC and Frankfurt under GHG here in the U.S. on the OTCQB under GBHPF. To learn more about them, please visit their website at globalhempgroup.com. Thanks for watching CEO Roadshow.